Now, the NLOS Cannon joins the PZH-2000 by doing most of the work by itself. The automated artillery system of the NLOS Cannon really reduces the strain on day-to-day -day soldier activity. It automatically selects the correct ammunition, sets the fuse, loads the shell, selects the right amount of propellant, loads the propellant, and then aims and fires the gun. All of that in 10 seconds. And all this can be achieved with just a two-man crew. 20 seconds after the, the vehicle or the crew receives a fire mission, the first round is downrange. It can fire then six rounds in a minute. Uh, and for survivability, that vehicle can then displace 20 seconds after that last round has been fired. Three columns, one five zero plus. They want that command. A lightweight composite armor is just the start of the NLOS cannon's self-protection measures. An active defense system also detects and destroys incoming grenades, missiles, or artillery rounds. You can engage more targets. You can reduce the number of people, actually, that you have to deploy in combat so you can be more survivable. The end loss is quick on the draw and also fast on its feet, enabling the crew to get in and out of battle quickly and quietly. Uh, you've got a hybrid electric drive uh, that knows what the power demand on the vehicle is, how much power am I using, how fast am I going, so that it's always operating at its peak efficiency. The diesel engine also charges a lithium-ion battery, so the NLOS can travel at up to 55 miles an hour and do it quietly. We save fuel, we provide more power, and we do that very intelligently. Battery power alone lasts up to 20 minutes, and with weight-saving rubber band tracks, it can sneak up on the enemy and give it a big surprise. What it gives you is a 155 howitzer artillery shell with state-of-the-art electronics, battle command technologies, and lightweight armor composites so that you can bring more to the battlefield with more technology at a much lighter weight than existing armored vehicles. It's more accurate uh, and it's more easily resupplied. It's more effective, it's more lethal, it's more technologically advanced. It lets soldiers have all of the benefits, all the effectiveness, all the lethality. It, it is an ultimate weapon. With the development budget for future combat systems already topping $150 billion, the true cost of the NLOS cannon is hard to measure, but it may well be worth every cent.